Okay. Hello, Year 6. Soon to be Year 7. Um, I hope you're all safe, and I hope you're all um, staying indoors and keeping yourself safe, but also keeping yourself entertained, because I know how difficult it is being locked up in a house, and uh, hopefully you're getting out and doing a bit of exercise when you can. I just want to very quickly uh, introduce myself. My name is Mr. Bowden. I'm the head of drama over at King's. Also in King's, you've got Mrs. Randall, um, who will actually be your teacher in Year 7, because she'll be teaching all of the Year 7 classes. But I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me here now to introduce what we, as a department, um, do at King's. Because I know that drama is probably one of those new subjects that maybe some of you have never actually had a drama lesson before. Because I know they don't really teach it at primary school. Some of you may go to drama classes outside of school. But really, it's um, it's quite rare for primary schools to teach drama. So I'm expecting that some of you will never, ever have had a drama lesson before. So we're going to start off by trying to understand um, what is drama? If we were in a class right now, I would ask this question and see what responses we'd get. And I imagine some people put their hands up and go, oh, it's like it's like being a film actor or it's about being on stage and it's just about acting. And part of that is right. It could be just about being an actor. It could be about making a performance. It definitely is not just about being the centre of attention, although I know that a lot of people do love to be the centre of attention. I must admit that sometimes I like to do this as well. Drama is kind of... It's kind of all of these things, and then so, so many more. For me, and what I tried to promote in our school and try to teach, is that drama is a way for us to understand people. And to help us to understand the world that we live in and then try and present our ideas about the world in quite a unique way. Let me break this down a little bit for you. Understanding people, we naturally do this. Think about this. If a teacher walks into a classroom and they slam the door, we know instantly in that instant when they slam that door we know how they're feeling and in fact we can do this all the time you can tell when your friends are upset you can tell when something has happened just before you walk into a room um you get this sense and that's because we are trying to understand people and we do this quite naturally in drama we make a, a point of really taking our time to analyze people and how people work and by doing that we start to understand the world in which we live and this idea of presenting our ideas in a unique way, you know, we all present our ideas all the time. So um, in English, when you are reading a text and then you write about what is happening in that text, you're presenting your ideas of what's happening and the style in which you're presenting it is on a piece of paper with your handwriting in ink or sometimes pencil and we write it down. In drama, we don't do that. We do very, very little written work, especially in Year 7. We don't really see the need to get pen and paper out and start writing things. Instead, our ideas and the things that we think about, we present in a practical way. We create a performance about our ideas that share with the audience what we think about something. And for me, that's what drama is. It's about us understanding the world, coming up with our own ideas about the world, and then presenting those ideas to the world uh, in this unique performance way. So here's uh, our hypothesis for this lesson. Um, our hypothesis is everyone can do drama. Now I know that some of you probably will be quite nervous about coming into school and having to stand in front of everybody and perform. Some people are thinking that sounds like the funnest thing ever and I can't wait to do that. But I know that there will be some people out there that are quite nervous and quite worried about that. Now let me tell you a little secret. When I was in year seven and I moved into year seven in, in, my, prime, uh, in my secondary school, I was put into a form with nobody that I knew, absolutely nobody, because nobody from my area went to the school that I went to. Um, and it meant that I was really, really reserved and quiet and nervous and scared to do anything. I remember actually crying on my first day of secondary school, um, which is fine to do, by the way. I've, I've turned out OK and I cried on my first day of secondary school. And actually, when I went into my first drama lesson, I was terrified. 
I was really, really worried, thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to get up, I'm going to have to stand in front of everyone, I'm going to have to talk, I'm going to have to say something, and if I make a mistake, everyone's going to laugh. And those things really, genuinely frightened me. And then I went into my first drama lesson, and it seemed like we were just playing. It was like an hour of fun, and everybody was smiling, and everybody was laughing. And suddenly I didn't feel scared and nervous. Suddenly I felt really, really comfortable. And people were making mistakes all the time, but we were playing a game and it was fun and interesting. And so we we really enjoyed it. So for those people out there that are worried, you don't need to be. You don't need to be at all because drama is about play. Hence why when you read a play, it's called a play because it's about playing. So... Here are the things that you need to be able to do drama. You need to be creative. You need to communicate well. You need to listen well. And you need to work as part of a team. And I know that every single person, every single person listening to this right now can do all of these. I'm going to try in this lesson, I'm going to try to prove it. I'm going to try and prove that you are creative, that you listening to this at home right now, I'm talking to you. It's weird, isn't it? That I'm talking to you and I've recorded this well before uh, you're listening to it now, but here we are. I'm talking directly to you. You can communicate, you do listen, and you can work as part of a team. And if you have these four skills, which every one of you do, you can do drama. And you can develop and improve your skills in drama. So, creativity then. That's where we're going to start. Um, I want you to look around the room, and I want you to pick up two random objects two of the whatever comes into your mind look around the room now where you are and pick up two random objects now i'm looking around the room here and i can see some really quite random objects i can see um a, a very tall vase which should have flowers in but it doesn't it has orange squash in because i drink so much i have to have a very big vessel to keep my drinks in i can see um aftershave i can see lots of phone chargers I can see clothes hanging up on a clothes horse. And I'm looking around and I'm going to pick up two objects. You need to do the same. Okay, hopefully now you have those objects. And we're going to get creative with them. Um, instead of picking two for me, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull two things out of my head. Um, two random things. I'm going to go for pizza, which is what I had for tea this evening. And um, bed, because that's my favourite place in the world to be in bed. So pizza and bed are my two objects, but you should now, in your hand, have two objects. Now, here is your challenge. I want you to imagine that you have been tasked by Amazon to come up with a brand new product that they are going to sell on Amazon.com. It has to be the best thing ever, that everybody wants it. And the way you're going to come up with this product, this brand new thing, is to try and combine your two objects in your hand to come up with a brand new, brand new item that you're going to sell on Amazon. So, for example, with my pizza and bed, now it would be too easy, too easy for me to say, OK, it's a bed that's made out of pizza. Far too easy. So instead... I want to make it as unusual as better. And as you can see at the bottom here, it says the more unusual, the better. So I'm going to say that my... Yes, here we go. My object is the bed pizza. It's a normal bed. It's an absolutely normal bed. You get into your bed when you go to bed. When you're going to sleep, you get into your bed. And as you're rolling over in your sleep, it starts to knead dough and starts to work the dough and flatten it out. And as you get nice and warm when you're asleep, it starts to cook underneath your mattress, this lovely pizza. And over the course of the evening, it bakes. Using the temperature from your body, it slowly bakes. And when you wake up in the morning, you lift up your mattress and there is a bed-sized pizza that you can have for breakfast. And every single morning you can have your breakfast. And if you want different flavours on top, not a problem. You just pack them in the night before underneath your pillow. You put your tomatoes, you put your, your mushrooms, you put your ham, your cheese, whatever you want underneath your pillow. And by the morning you will have a huge bed-sized pizza. Now I've just come up with that in the middle of... Uh, in the, 
in literally seconds as you were listening um and it's a ridiculous idea um i would love to have one if it was possible because i'm a big fan of pizza and i'm a big fan of going to bed so i would have pizza all the time but um here's your challenge you're gonna have two minutes to come up with the most unusual product ever what i'm gonna ask you to do is pause this video now and then come up with your product and then i'll continue speaking pause video now Good, so you should have come up with your interesting um, little pizza. Now what you've come up with there using creativity is an idea. And remember what I said about drama, it's about communicating ideas. So you've come up with your idea. Now drama is about communicating that idea through performance in this unique way that isn't just writing it down. So here's your next challenge. You've come up with the idea now you need to use your confidence to sell this product so you're going to record a very very short one minute video that tells us about the product explains why it is the best product ever and explains why people need this product so let me give you an example using my pizza bed um, i'm going to try and make it as interesting as possible uh, almost like an advert you know like those uh, really annoying american adverts i'm going to try doing one like that here we go so tell us about your product here we go one minute Introducing Pizza Bed, the once-in-a-lifetime mattress come pizza dough oven that uses your own body heat produced while sleeping to bake the perfect dough. You want flavours? We've got flavours. Any flavour you like, you shove it under your pillow and it's there in the morning. Boom, it's, you've got a pizza. It's the flavour you want. Do you want mushroom? Boom, you've got mushroom. Do you want pineapple? Boom, you can have pineapple. I do not condone having pineapple on your pizza. Just £399 by today on Amazon.com. Shipped and delivered in two days and you can have pizza for the rest of your life. This product is the most incredible product Amazon have ever sold, so buy it now! So ladies and gents, there's a very, very short one minute little bit of me just blabbing on about my pizza bed. But as you can see, I'm using my confidence to communicate and tell you about my idea. I'm also going to throw in extra points if you use music in the background of your video. Now, the best videos that are sent through to us uh, will receive a, a lovely prize in September. Um, it will be something chocolatey, I imagine. Now, you're probably thinking, well, where do I send these videos? Um, you can now see. You are going to have 10 minutes to create your video, and you're going to send it to a.perchin at kingswarrington.com a.perchin at kingswarrington.com um, and she'll send them on to the uh, drama department so that we can check out your videos and decide whose is the best. Remember that you should be telling us about the product, explaining why it's the best product ever and then explain why people need this product and remember as well you get extra points if you use some music in the background of your video to add that atmosphere that professional um, adverts have. I'm now going to ask you to pause this video. You've got 10 minutes to create your video. And remember to send it to a.perchin at kingswarrington.com. Pause your video now. Brilliant. Wonderful. So, um, we have just communicated something to an audience. We've just created a piece of drama. Really simple. Films, TV shows, plays, they all do exactly what you've just done there. They have an idea, something they want to communicate, something they want to tell an audience, and they do it through performance. They've communicated a meaning, which is what you've just done. You've just created a video for a brand new product, communicated that meaning, therefore you have just created drama. If we went back to the hypothesis that says anyone can do drama, if you've just done that, you've just done drama. Congratulations. Welcome to the Drama Club. Let's move on, because um, communication isn't just about performing. Actually, um, listening is a huge, huge part of communication. Um, all of you can listen, because you've all gone through primary school and had to listen to teachers and learn new things. And I'm going to try and test your listening skills. So you're going to need a piece of paper 
and a pen or a pencil. And I'm going to give you a little bit of time just to go and find those. You're also going to need a piece of paper. So a pen, a pencil, a piece of paper. If you can go and find those now, uh, you can pause the video if you need to. But go and find a pen, a piece of paper or a pencil. So how this is going to work, I'm going to describe a drawing and you are going to listen to what I say and see if you can draw the picture that I'm telling you to draw, okay? So get your paper ready, listen carefully, I'm only going to say it once, and try and draw the picture that I'm describing. Okay. Start off by drawing a square in the centre of your page. This square should be around 5 centimetres by 5 centimetres. So it's quite a nice sized square in the middle of your page. As you're looking at this square, on the right hand side of the square I want you to draw a circle. But listen before you draw it. The circle goes up halfway uh, up the side of the square but it does not touch the square. So it is at the bottom right hand corner of the square, not touching the square. There is a circle that goes half the way up the square. Inside the circle, inside the circle is a triangle um, as if it's an arrowhead pointing up and it touches three points on the circle. So it touches the corners of the triangle, touch the circle. Finally, on top of the square there is a moon shape. But listen, the moon is is almost like it's almost like the square has a horn, like horns, like a bull. And it's a moon shape that sort of the bottom of the moon shape touches the square and goes up and then it comes back down to make a sort of moon shape. It's not a circle moon. It's one of those moons that's um, like a, 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 a C shape. So what I've just done there is I've just communicated to you a shape. And this shape was from memory, remembering what this shape looks like and this picture looks like. Now, I'm quite a good communicator, but actually, I think I might have struggled there, um, and I'm hoping that some people might have done okay with this drawing. Um, but this is what your drawing should, hopefully, have looked like. A square, which we can see. A circle that touches... Oh, it just touches. I said it didn't touch. Uh, it just touches the square. It goes halfway up the square. We've got the triangle that touches in three places, and it's like an arrow pointing up and then a moon that touches the top of the tr the square and it's uh, pointing up like a C shape it looks like a horns hopefully you've managed to get something similar to that um so in drama you're going to develop all of these skills all of the skills we've just looked at communication we're going to look at how what is the best way to communicate with people how we listen to people and ensure that we are listening actively uh, so that we understand and so that we can understand other people's views. You're going to learn how to create performances so that you can communicate meaning. When you come up with an idea, you want to know how to communicate that in the most effective way. And most of all, you're going to learn this in a fun and energetic and creative environment where we will play a lot of games. And it'll feel like, actually, these are just games. But actually, as we do these, we're developing skills all the time. But you might be thinking, what are we actually going to study? Well, in Learning Cycle 1, when we first start in drama, you're going to look at ancient Greek theatre. This is going back thousands of years to the first ever plays that were written down. I can't tell you that they were the first ever plays ever, because we don't know. You know, cavemen may have been doing plays around the campfire hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before this. Um, but these are the ones that were written down and recorded. Um, and we're going to have a little look at Greek theatre and how it was created and why it was created in the way that it was. 
we'll look at choral speech, mythology, characters, monologues, and movement. Um, and at the moment, these probably don't mean too much to you, and that's fine that they don't, um, because you're going to learn those, because that's our job, to teach you those when you get into Year 7 uh, in September. Now, I've been asked to create a little task for you to complete in your own time. I was asked, it, asked for it to be about 20 minutes long. I'm sorry, mine's a bit longer than that. Um, but I think it's a really enjoyable one, and I think you will enjoy it. So, um, I wanted to go and watch some live theatre. Now, we can't at the moment because all theatres are shut because of lockdown. But you can get onto YouTube and you can watch um, a performance. And I'll get Miss uh, Perchin to send out this link to everybody so that you have it. Um, but this is a performance online of Aladdin. Disney's Aladdin performed live on stage. And it is a great, great show. Um, and it's really fun to watch. As a little takeaway, I'd love some theatre reviews to come in. Any reviews that do come in, I'm going to put on the wall uh, on the first week of September. They'll be on the wall in the drama department um, to show off exactly how amazing our Year 7s are. And also, the best review that we get in, uh, we will give you some chocolate. So ladies and gents, it's been great having a little chat with you now. I hope you've enjoyed this and hopefully... Hopefully, um, in September, we're going to continue to enjoy drama um, and hopefully in your practical lessons, you'll be smiling, laughing and most of all, communicating. Thank you very much, ladies and gents. Have a wonderful summer.